And hello everybody, we are live once again. Uh, this time we're uh, back on paragliding sim and I, I'm new to all of these things, to uh, live streaming, but I thought since it's such a long video from yesterday, uh, it's worth saying up front a huge thank you to everyone that supports us, be it on Patreon or on the join button here on YouTube that is just uh, just down here, just underneath. Um, also, everyone that subscribes and share our videos, it makes a huge difference because uh, we're you know trying to make this work. Uh, and also, I want to say that uh, last night, after I had a blast playing this with you guys, I made a little donation to, to Evan via his uh, itch.io page. Uh, and lo and behold, not that it's connected in any way, but lo and behold, there was a new update overnight. So when I woke up this morning, version 3.2 is out. Now we are on 3.1 and there's a few new things. Uh, first off, and uh, easy to see, is there's a weight shift bar here. Uh, but the main thing is that there's a main menu now. So when you went to this first screen before, uh, there was just a fly now. And now we have controller settings, quality settings, and quit. So, I mean, quality settings is pretty basic. Uh, graphics quality and physical uh, physics time steps. I haven't played with that too much because I didn't find uh, a lot of problems with what I was doing uh, and I have a decent frame rate and Controller settings was the big big one. So I have my controller connected now I reflashed the Arduino on it. So I have full range on all the axes and look at this Ooh. So left brake right brake. I have my speed bar connected uh, I have throttle uh, and I even have more things that I'm currently not using, like uh, weight shift. I have it on like a little turn knob. I have another knob. Is it this one? No. I have another knob somewhere. There you go. This, for some reason, doesn't work as well. But it is connected. Uh, and you can reverse them. You can change uh, if you have full range just the top half or the bottom half and what axis you're using. So this is great because I can use my uh, joystick. You guys can use uh, whatever you have. You can use a joystick uh, like um, you use on Flight Simulator. You can use uh, remote control controllers. The transmitters for remote control uh, stuff should work. Uh, PlayStation controllers. Um, Xbox controllers, game pads, anything like that. Obviously, if you have something that is analog, so instead of being just an on and off button, you can, you know, vary the the how much you you're putting in. You, you're going to be in better shape because you need that fine control for uh, for joysticks. So anyway, that's some great news, and let's see what it says on the comments. Hi, Ripman. Hi, Nathan. Jim. Olaf. Oh, hi, Olaf. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, we actually met Olaf here at our beaches uh, last year, I think. Uh, Jim, Nathan, Candopy, CW, Sean, all of the regulars. <laughs> welcome, welcome, everyone. So that was one of the one of the differences that I've found. Another thing is I think in the future we will have a, an extra little bar here for um, throttle. But going to, I didn't find any differences on weather. And on controls, we can choose whether to have the speed bar from the joystick or from the keyboard. Same thing from the throttle. But because I have them mapped out, I'll just use it from the controller, which is why it was made anyway. Uh, but on the wings, I didn't notice until later that there's quite a few. Uh, well, there's the Super Meta V2. So this was the original, which is like a Xeno, I think. This is the V2, which I can't... I mean, let's see. It's just slightly bigger, it looks like. And the aspect ratio is a little bit different. And there's the V2 large. 
which I suppose is just same same as the V2, but a little bit more area. There's the the zona already had low AR. I don't know. I don't know what they, these are because these all look the same. Super meta V2, V2L, and low AR aspect ratio maybe. Uh, the Deathwing is now more <laughs> happily named because it is deadly, so that's still there. The Xeno is still there, but we have the Boom, and the Boom, again, looks like that Enzo thing, but it's basically looks like it's more like the Jin Boomerang. So it's it should be fly pretty similar to the Super Meta or the, the Zono. Um, and I think everything else is, is still the same. We only have one paragliding wing. And yeah, I think the rest is still the same. So that's fine. Let's look at... What was the one that I had on? Rapid. The large one. Cool. Uh, what do we have? Hi, JS. Oh, we met JS as well. JS came to one of our grand handling retreats. Well, the very first one at the beginning of last year. So that was awesome. Thanks for joining us, JS. Hello from France. The cheers F10 uh, and Jim again. I know I'm, I need to go like and I'm going to try and have a chat with him like on the phone and get a better idea for um, the project and see like what like because I think he's at it's the second he's at the second year of university. So I want to try to get an idea to like what his life is like if he's dedicated to this or he has like more important things on his plate at the moment if he needs help um, if he needs help with money or does he need help with people that have knowledge that he doesn't have uh, all those things so I just realized my speed bar is not quite working correctly is this oh yeah yeah I screwed it up didn't I it was what, seven no three I think yeah, there you go. I unmapped it by mistake. So yeah, I want to have a little chat with Evan and see what he says, so that then, if he need, well, if he needs money, then we can all try to get the word out there and contribute. If it's not that, and it's time or not having the right knowledge for, for instance, make it multiplayer, then at least I can have an idea to where he's at and how we can best help him. So. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll have a little look, but for today, I thought it'd be cool to try to do some proximity flying and see how close we can get to things. <laughs> it should be, uh, should be entertaining. I, uh, I want to try to find a good area of the map that has, uh, like we can slalom between the, the, the trees and the ground and stuff like that and see how close we can get and still make it out alive. I think we need more power, so smaller wing. Here we go. Ooh. Here we go, coming in. Oh, tip touch. Oh, this is gonna work out perfect. Look, 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 look. Yes. No, I was over eager. <laughs> too much bank, too much sink. But that that was a cool line. Let's see if we can do that again. So we go straight here. Go past this guy. Cross these two trees. Oh, that was close. And then I think I came down here. Yeah, clip this. Go over the ooh, go over the wall. Yeah, and this is where I need to somehow get low. Get on the other side of the tree and and then can I make it out? Nice, nah, probably. It's too high afterwards to get to to get out. Yeah, multiplayer, absolutely. I think multiplayer is what's gonna make the game really interesting. 
because literally every every single aspect of paragliding that you can think of paramoting paramotoring soaring acro xc speed soaring you know we could have you know three players doing this one after the other and just doing some absolutely epic stuff here we go here we go nah i'm not the thing is i can get there to the right place but then i won't be able to to make it out of here because it's a bit of a valley this needed to be lower let's try south turn off the wind hi michael i'm playing on a um ooh. i'm playing on a kind of a joystick a gamepad that i've i've made myself uh, I'll uh, I'll see if I can find the the video. I should have it on the video description, shouldn't I? Just hold on, hold on a second, because I keep people keep asking me the same thing, and I need to have it on the video description, because otherwise. Otherwise, we're always trying to direct people to the same stuff. I'm such a such a noob when it comes to live streaming. I need to have all this stuff ready already. But mm -hmm. there we go. Here we go. I'll add it here. I right. play with this controller. Right. So, uh, to do where is it? Michael? Michael. Pavlovsky, Michael Pavlovsky, if you refresh this page, you should be able to find the link to that video on the controller I use in the description. Yeah, I was thinking about a record or like instant playback thing as well. The, honestly, the, li the list of features that I think should be present in this game is endless. So, uh, yeah um i just don't know i don't want to put too much pressure on evan either because you know maybe he's just doing it for fun and is not interested in i don't know he's at universe he's got all other stuff going on but it's just it feels like the <laughs> paragliding community doesn't have anything else to to go on speaking of controllers after after our session last night i went to bed and kept thinking about a way to to get to get people to to be able to play with a, some kind of a joystick as well like a dedicated controller and maybe doing a doing a design and doing a kickstarter so that people can i can design a control and people can buy it or you know already ready to go plug and play or uh, as a kit for those of you who like to solder and build and do things together um, but yeah it's tricky because paragliding is quite a small community so it would probably be hard to justify putting all the work to then I don't know sell 50 or 100 units at best either that or they would be too expensive and people wouldn't be as inclined to buy them but it, do, it does keep keep me awake at night thinking about all of these cool projects that can be done oh, 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 <laughs> too flat this is a uh, yeah i like this south ridge there's some uh some different options oh maybe I can go between these trees here not now but <laughs> earlier I was just uh, playing on Twitch earlier, and I did manage to uh, did manage to actually get stuck in a tree, which didn't hasn't happened before. 
What? 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 Yes. Yes. Oh, this is a cool angle. I, I like. I like that particular line because you can go there and then you can still use these ones here. Uh, oh, wingtip. I think I need to, yeah, do something like, whoops, do something like this. Let me go over there. Is it enough height and speed? Probably not. I'm too low. Hold on, let me see what people are saying. Du -du -du -du. Yeah, I think I think he started by doing a um a glider a glider simulator like a, as in sailplanes and then did this so there shouldn't be any reason why I can't do um hang gliders as well. Uh the feeling is pretty good. The only th uh, sp uh wing span wise is uh, is pretty good. So let me see if I can get a bigger wing for to show that. So wingspan wise from the center to the tips is pretty good. So you can if you do like stuff wrong like this, it will as you see warp and you get wingtip touches and things like that, and it's pretty realistic. Um the pitch and the roll is, is, is pretty good, so you, you how the how the wing reacts and etc. The only thing is that you don't really get collapses, uh, like f front collapses, because the um, these things are single cells. So this is a single rigid object, and another one, and another one, and another one. So uh, and they're connected to each other, but ideally it would be something like you know one cell here, then one cell here, then one cell here, one cell here. So the whole thing would be a mesh rather than just a line of different elements. Um, but I mean, as far as the physics go and, and how um, similar it feels to the real thing, for a game is as good as it gets at the moment, because uh, I haven't found a game that has this good of a feel. Uh, I'd say that compared to reality is maybe 80%. 80% there on the basic stuff, or obviously with some more advanced things like, you know, how the lines are attached to the canopy at the moment. I think we only have, you know, these red front lines and some green, uh, yeah, these green back lines. In reality, there's lines attached to the front, middle and the back, which means the wing can't turn inside out or upside down if you know what I mean because the cloth will hit the lines but in this case because of how they are designed they can go inside out or upside down sort of thing so but for the really basic stuff I'd say it's pretty close <laughs> right, let's go back to the this guy. Low AR, but that's the thing, like is do you mean this one? Because Oh, okay. <laughs> right, what the hell? What? Right, so it's the, the, the picture here is wrong. Okay, the picture is wrong. <laughs> but it's actually a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. What the hell is this? <laughs> what? Wait, you know what? I'm going to stop here and I'm going to do a video about that tomorrow so that we can not waste it because <laughs> that just sounds... That just sounds silly. Let's look at another wing that might be new, which is this super meta was already there, which is fine. Let's see if there's an error on the same thing. So if we put the V2, it shows the same thumbnail, but maybe. Oh yeah, it is different. 
It is different. Okay. Lines are still too short. What about the boom? Yeah. Okay. So on some of them, the the thumbnail doesn't quite match the real thing. It's okay. He's, he's probably in a rush doing the the thingies. But cool. All right. Well, we definitely need to. I'm going to hold on. I'm just going to add that to my list of things to do. And we'll do one video one of these days. It's just strange wings. With high and low AR. Because <laughs> there's a death blade and whatnot. So let's go back to. Do, 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 do. It's really hard. I, I tried to make these. Um, these videos have a bit of a theme so that if someone watches them without being live, they still make some kind of sense and they're, they're about a specific subject. But it's luckily, in a good way, it's really hard to do that because you guys just come up with some really good ideas of things to do. And then I get really sidetracked with, uh, with trying something else. Like low AR one one point something aspect ratio. Who? What? No, that's never happened before. I think I have a very sore ass at the moment. Hi Leia, hi Fricolina. By the way, are you are you girls? Cause I've I'll show you the the stats for my channel. They're like ninety nine point five percent men or something. So it'd be really nice if there was some more. Cause I know the paragliding girls exist. There's they're about five or ten percent of all pilots, but for some reason they don't seem to be big fans of my videos which is understandable but it's always nice if we had more a more diverse group of young and old people and girls and boys and all sorts whoops whoops wait here we go it's just a shame that it's very far away i try to zoom it in as much as possible but this is how far it goes Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite lines. Yeah, that that looked cool. That was fairly realistic. Hi Gary. Wow, we've got 62 viewers at the moment. That's crazy. I think we only got to about 30 or 40 yesterday. Oh, that was close. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, that's new. So the on the upper right uh, visualization thing, we can um, we can see that this is just simply uh, break left, and this this is the left break and right break, and this blue one here is speed bar. So that's you know pre self explanatory. However, now there's this new thing called WS, that's weight shift. And at the moment, you have 100% weight, sh uh, weight shift sensitivity, which means if it's on auto, 
when you let's let's put this on 50 uh, when you pull left it will weight shift to the left and wait um, so the weight shift is doing it automatically I'm just inputting break uh, but if and this is by how much but it doesn't seem to be working maybe I have to restart it no, it's actually probably inversely proportional. So if I go more than 100, is that it? No, it doesn't seem to be working that particular bit. But that's kind of like the sensitivity of it, like how much it how much it does it. And this here, if you have it controlled by an axis, then I'm actually doing the weight shift by turning a knob. Uh, which could be useful or not. I don't find it quite that useful because I have one hand on the left brake and one hand on the right brake and I don't have, you know, it's not really ergonomically feasible to be weight shifting at the same time with another knob. So I just left that on auto for now. Um, uh, sensitivity, blah, blah. And the only thing that is maybe missing from here a little bit that he'll probably implement in the future is having a slider just for this, uh, just like this one, that is uh, power. So for PPG wings, knowing how much throttle you've got on. Uh, and if you're on speed bar in paragliding, uh, a good technique, uh, if you don't need to do uh, big corrections is to whoop, is to do rear riser steering. So if I turn left and right, that's how much it does it. And if I put rear riser steering on, it moves a lot less and more smoothly and more efficiently. And it avoids collapsing the wing because you shouldn't really use your brakes if you're on speed bar. So that's what that little thing is on. So that's a little overview of that menu there. I can't keep up with the comments here. Uh, hi, Jim. And hi, Roman. And, and girlfriend, welcome to the stream. <laughs> Thanks, Ripman. You're absolutely, absolute legend. Right, I quite like this summit. So let's see if we can get some good runs on this. Yeah, it, it's doing something else now where if I click away from the screen, it's not letting me do what it was doing before, where the inputs just stay still. too high wasn't it I need to I need to be able to just clip it so I need to get get a swing on and then kind of go through those trees with a bit of a upwards momentum whoop uh, uh, too close oh no it was okay let's see what we can do here Did I overdo it? Yeah, I overdid it. Here we go. Bad timing. Yep, bad timing. <laughs> so maybe I'm better off just going, it's more committal, but maybe going here and then here we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh, no way. No way. I really thought that wasn't going to work. If I just had a tiny bit more, I would have been able to make it across that side. Let's see. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, 
Okay, so now I have... I need to wait a little bit longer. It kind of worked. Dead. Wait for it now. Yes, yes. Ah, that was it though. I fluffed it there at the end, but I think that was it. Need to wait a little bit more. Wait, wait, wait. Now. No, nope. screw that one up. That's kind of it. It's kind of it. I feel like we could have been lower, closer to the trees, but. Here we go. Yeah, if you spend too much time pointing the wing down, it will just lose too much height. So you're better off turning faster. Here we go. Oh, yes! Come on, I need it. That would be such a good like highlights thing if I could do some kind of a replay on it. That was it. That was what we were looking for. Whoa! And then I screwed it up by dying. Hey Alias, welcome to the stream. Is that how you say your name? Al Alias, I suppose. I suppose it's hard for you to tell me how you say your name because you're writing, <laughs> not, not talking. But really nice to have you on the stream, man. Watch some of your videos. They're pretty fun. Fast paced. Pow, pow, pow. Ooh, skimming, skimming, skimming. Look at the guy. Right, so we're on the south. Let's try the north, north side. Now oh, this is a bit barren. There's not much here going on. Maybe the trees. <laughs> cool. Good to know. Just dragging my butt on the sand. That's what you do. <laughs> That's what you do when you haven't got toilet paper because you know, COVID and all that. You just go par <laughs> go paragliding and do a great great drag on your butt landing. There you go. Just drag, drag, dra <laughs> drag, drag, drag for months, drag for miles. Oops. Clean butt, but broken legs. Do, do, do. Can we do prox? Yeah, we could probably do proximity with a bit of ridge lift. Oh, 
Oh no, I've gone to the gone to the dead area. No one comes back from that area. Behind this little See if this is enough to stay up. It probably isn't. Uh, oh yeah, hi, hi tech. I think if you go to the settings on Mac and you go to like the security or lock icon or something like that, uh, you'll if you go there after you've tried to open a like a downloaded program that Mac can't verify, it will it will say something like, uh, "Do you want to allow to open this program?" Uh, one time or forever or whatever and you have to yeah just go to settings and you'll find the you'll find the option there it usually happens with yeah smaller programs that are not uh, verified yeah this feels surprisingly similar similar to flying in reality And uh, yeah, it has the added bonus of one, you don't die, and two, uh, the wind really is perfectly laminar. There is, if you choose to have zero turbulence, you have zero turbulence. Ooh. Oop, uh, oop. <laughs> Broken legs and stuff, but we're flying. All right, let's see if we can do some proximity hovering I can land on one of these trees
Yeah, the problem is we have a lot of have a lot of lift just before we have a lot of sink. So if we go to the to the back here, probably gonna sink out just before. Ooh, speed bar? No. Up. Oh. Well, top landing, I suppose, and getting dragged. Lego parts. That's awesome, Nathan. I mean, if you're if you're happy to um, to make the picture public so that everyone can have a look, or if you host it somewhere like I don't know uh, Facebook or one of those image hosting things, you can just paste it paste it on the chat, and then I can can have a look, and everyone else can have a look as well, or I can even put it on the stream if you if if you're willing to, of course. No problem if not, I'll I'll have a look later if not. But yeah, I'm thinking of I'm thinking that maybe it's worth me um developing some kind of controller for it so that people can buy a DIY kit and make kind of assemble it themselves at home. Or uh or actually a ready-made controller because I think it makes a huge difference to playing this if you play with keyboard or if you play with a dedicated thing hi hi Anthony welcome to the stream dude I wish you could have music on. I have um, a really cool radio station that uh, I've been listening for years called Lounge Radio. I think it's made in Switzerland and it's just on the uh, on the internet. It's pretty cool to listen to, like chilled out music. But I'm pretty sure that if I if I'd put it on here, I'd have some kind of copyright strike with YouTube. But if you guys know of any like what's it called, copyright free music service that just streams different kinds of music that I could put on the stream I think it'd give it a really nice vibe in fact I think I can put the other one here just for a little minute Yeah, so that's that's what the music's like. If anyone has uh, some suggestions, I'd appreciate it. I think there's, uh, at least on Twitch, there's overlays and things. I can try to get some kind of a webcam and put my face over here or over here. 
when people write comments or do donations or subscribe, it could be like appear over here. So I need to get clued up with all those things. Can I still make it to the front? Probably not. <laughs> Oh. It is very windy. Let's put a little bit less and a slightly bigger one, maybe. If you guys have any, um, if you guys have any suggestions of uh, little challenges to do on this to make it more interesting let me know I love a good challenge uh, hopefully uh, if it has something to do with proximity flying with or without wind with big or small wings let me know what you think let me know your suggestions because it's cool This is actually a wing that I don't think exists. It's like a 17 meter Rapidos. They only go up to 15 meter. Oh, so would you call that the ultimate scratcheroo challenge? Where you try to get from a low position into a high position with very little wind. And obviously making your chances the best they can be by having a high performance glider. Okay, that sounds like it should be always pretty close to the hill. So that counts as proximity. Challenge accepted, sir. Okay, so let's first look at cloud base. So we can stop this here, change the camera, and look at the map. I know this is the only way we have to look at the map, but that doesn't look particularly good over there. This, this does look good. But there's, I think, this is the Soaring Hill. This is that little hill up in front. And this is the, like, maybe the main ridge. Yeah, I think this is the main ridge. So I need to find out what direction that is. And then, yeah, and then make the wind come from that direction so we can soar this whole thing. And then figure out what the best takeoff is. So let's see. Uh, and pause this. Guys here is struggling. Wait, which way is he going? Oh, wait. Uh, let's turn the wind off because it creates havoc. Okay, so we want. We want kind of that direction right that wind direction actually maybe even a little bit more to the right kind of kind of like that so that's uh south southwest okay so south southwest is pretty much what we have already but let's say it's like this and let's put five knots to start with Uh, 
Du, du, du. And then to do, 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 do what I'm going to go for. Let's see. I don't think you need that much performance, to be honest, because you could, because these high performance gliders have a high aspect ratio, but they're like 20 meters. Surely something like a fuzz 28, because it's so much bigger, it might have, I don't know, it might turn better close to the hill. Uh, 19, 21, 22, maybe the 22, uh, Zono is a 20, the Boom is a small, so it's a 20 as well, and the rest is crazy stuff. So maybe I'll try, what was the, yeah, the large. And I have to start from the soaring hill, I think. I think that's the lowest. Yeah, this is the lowest takeoff. Whoops. All right, let's just see if this little Hill is soarable. Probably need to turn on our. Whoops. Need to, uh, need to turn on our vario just to so we can concentrate on this. Okay. And I should be able to go into the into here. Ooh. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Doesn't look like there's enough wind. Mm, no, we might need a little bit more wind. I mean, there's a little bit here that is more steep, so maybe we could try to make it there, but it's not looking. There's something, but I don't think it's enough. Uh, we do have thermals off, so let's try six. Oh, super meta, is that what I, yeah, I suppose I have one of those. I don't think there's the, <clears throat> pardon me, I don't think we have the Venturi effect in this game yet, so uh, it makes it easier low down and it makes it uh how should i say that it it it's basically this should be the same difficulty all the way up where in reality it should be really difficult low down and very easy high up but if there's no wind acceleration the higher you get then it's all the same difficulty so if we if we manage to get the beginning working then we might be able to get there to get all the way up is it what i mean so should we be, we're crosswind here should we use with a speed bar not sure this is where we got that blip before Ooh. Oh, this is promising. I 
hundred. Okay, so I'm a hundred meters or so. I think this next part here is good. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it's hard this. It's a good challenge. I still haven't managed to go back to 100 meters. And I'm a little bit, I need to turn around. I'm a little bit downwind here. Oh, getting a bit out of shape. Getting a bit of uh, headwind. I'm um, 90 meters now. This is not going well. Eighty five, come on, come on. Come on, nah, it's not gonna work. I mean, I can try that again because I feel like there was st still some more lift to be had on that uh, initial hill, but it must be very close. I might go to six and a half rather than seven. Let's let's try six and a half. I mean, this could be a this could be a little challenge. You guys could try it and see. Six point four. Let's try six point seven. And I think I'm gonna put a little bit less brake, so I don't jam the so we're more smooth on the controls. <laughs> oh, Jack! Yeah, Jack. We're all in the same boat together. We're all in the same boat together. We we thought he was stupid and now look at us, eh? Okay. Here we go. Yeah, I think this initial phase as well is really important to figure out if it's gonna be possible or not. So maybe instead of going straight over to that side I'm gonna chill around here first. Yeah, maybe. So I'm 140, let's call it. See if I can get to 150. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm concentrating. <laughs> Uh, but this, yeah, this hill isn't quite into wind, it's a little bit off. Right, let's, let's try to, hmm, right, I'll, I'll try it anyway, I'll try to go to the other side, but if this doesn't work, I'm gonna... Try again, crossing to the right straight away, as the, as the little character spawns. Looking at it now, maybe this area here is where it's the, it's the one that is the most into wind. So when I get to the end there, I hate, need to turn around straight away. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but I think the the wind is not quite right for the first hill. It's a little bit off. If I change it to southwest rather than south southwest, I think it will work. But let's just try and uh, wait, we can do a better takeoff than that. There we go. Let's try to cross over to that side straight away because then I think it'll be possible. I have a little bit of a tailwind here, so I probably shouldn't try speed bar. If anything, I should put a little bit of brake on because of the old. Uh, Pull a curve, but maybe I could make it through the trees as well. I 
Okay, so we arrived here with 135. Let's see if with a couple of beats we could make it higher than that. It's not looking, it's not looking good. Oh. Now it's all downhill from here. Okay, let's try instead of changing the thing, changing the the speed stays the same. We just adjust the direction a little bit. Maybe. Stream. Sorry? Don't stream my quiz. Stream your quiz. Maybe that's one for another day. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Maybe in front here. On this side. <laughs> People are saying hi, Jebba. Hello. <laughs> she's she's doing a. She's kind of streaming a, a little meeting with her friends and doing a doing I'm a pub, quizzical. Then doing a, a pub quiz whilst having wine at the same time, probably. So she's uh, she's she's very happy. <laughs> right. What about this here? This is it. This is gonna work. Come on. Come on. You know what? Without without going further up on the wind speed, let's try to just get the biggest. What about five kilos, blah, 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 blah. What about this one? Yeah, let's try this one. Because I have a feeling that the other one is just too small. Right, let's go to the hill here. And just, yeah, pretty much straight lined it. Here we go. Plus five, ooh, plus five. Yeah, we turned around and we're already higher than 170, so this would be a very slow process, but I think this wing is better than the other one just because it's a, a 
it's lighter loaded so you don't fly so fast and you don't sink so fast so you can fly in lower winds but also when you're scratching and ridge soaring in very light conditions how much you bank to be able to do a turn is quite important so these lower whoa these lower aspect ratio wings can turn a lot tighter without losing so much height so i think that's why we're getting some good results with this one maybe with the other one with the one that's like the what's the buzz called the fuzz <laughs> with the with a fuzz 28 because it's a 28 meter rather than a 26 like this one it might be even better Let's see if we can explore here a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I know. I keep uh, keep scratching the bum. Two hundred and thirty. It's it's slow going, but it definitely works. If we uh, if we made it so far, it means we're going to make it all the way to the top, unless I make some really big mistakes. But it feels it feels surprising, like paragliding, doesn't it? I mean, for those of you who paraglide, you know, the uncertainty if you're going to make it or not, the landscape being close to the hill and all that. It's so nice. I think I'm going to make it to the end here and turn back because we probably can't get any more lift after this. Happy Easter everyone. Happy Easter Craig. Yeah, I think we made it. It's a good challenge. Definitely recommend it to anyone that wants to practice this game. Hey David, I'm playing on my own uh, gamepad. There's a little uh, link in the description to uh, a video that I've made of how I made this uh, custom gamepad I'm playing with. So if you want to check it out, or at least just look at a picture, just uh, press on that link. Two fifty. Pretty much fall it, f yeah, falls down the hill from here on, so we're not really gaining much. Yeah, I think we're losing a lot battling the headwind here, so let's try go back. I think this is the main phase we're working now. Yeah, it definitely works better here. It's just hard to turn tight because it's a kind of small hill. Small, small part of the hill, small face. Sorry if my dialogue is a bit substandard than just concentrating hard on this task to get the top of the hill. 
with only six knots wind generating lift. Trying to scratch away as much as possible. Whoa. And trying to... Oh no, I was so close. <laughs> I'm dead on the side of a mountain now. Slowly scratching away to oblivion. But hey, I, th I think it worked. Maybe. Maybe. With a 28, it would work as well. And maybe with a, even a little bit less wind. But I think... I think we'll have to leave that one for another day. Toss the laundry. <laughs> I've always found that a really, <laughs> really funny expression. Uh, and then I had to toss the laundry. Yeah, may maybe this one doesn't have enough performance to, to do the same thing. But yeah, you definitely don't want to go super small on the wing. Do, 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 do. I keep coming back to these because they're just so much fun to fly, these small wings. Yeah, there's some um, there's there's an objective here that is this goal marker. So if you, I think it's more for cross country. If you uh, take off, you see that green ball there. If you fly into that green ball, it will disappear and appear somewhere else, which is kind of like a a goal that you have to get to. And obviously, if it can appear any altitude in any location around the island, then uh, if you're on a cross-country wing with thermals and stuff, it will you'll have to work hard to because maybe one will be down by the water, and you have to get down them nice and low, catch tag the turn point or the goal, as it as it's called. There you go. So, so now it's. Where has it appeared? I can't see it, so it's probably it's probably on the other side. It reappeared over there. So so then you have to like make it over there and etc. So you have to connect it with thermals. Woohoo! Whoa. Oh legs! Oh, that was that was on purpose. That wasn't lucky at all. Let's see what's going on with the comments here. Try to grind handling challenge. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's a little bit tricky because we don't have a, an easy way to do launches and landings and like after the it's on the ground. But if you if you choose the right amount of wind and where you place yourself on the hill, you can kind of do a bit of ground handling for sure. I've tried it. Uh. You can put yourself into a spiral. You can have tip tucks, but not forward uh, front collapses yet. Uh, and it doesn't have reserve parachutes yet, but I definitely already have a button on my controller for that. Uh, <laughs> 
get super views? Surely not. <laughs> virtually flying. I can't wait, you guys. I can't wait until this thing has multiplayer and we create can create a server and we can all be on the chat, but at the same time, flying all together and doing silly missions. It'd be absolutely awesome. That sweet sound of the wind going through the lines. Is it too much? Is it too much? Maybe. Maybe not. Ooh. Come on, there should be instant replay on this thing. There should be instant replay. <laughs> so that you could watch the same thing and move the camera at the same time from different angles. It's just so much fun. What? That was luck. I assure you that was luck. Probably can't make it over the hill. It's too flat. Can you imagine as well if we could make our own maps? I feel like we need to somehow <clears throat> We need to somehow farm out a lot of these things that need doing to the community because I think there's a lot of people that are engineers or just computer savvy in general that could be designing maps, designing wings, all sorts. Oh, I never done that before. Somersault, broken legs. Oh, it's forty-four people on the same map. I know that that maybe would need to like create different servers and maybe like a a Discord thing with different uh, rooms and stuff. <laughs> Someone playing a simulation inside a simulation. Inside a simulation. Inside another simulation. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm. Hi, Alain. Hi, Alain. How you doing? Uh, yeah, I've I've talked to Evan about it, and I'm gonna try to have a chat with him at some point to see how we can best help him. But uh, yeah, you can do infinite tumble. Foot drag, I think you can, but it's it's a really short tipping point between foot dragging and completely eating dirt. Uh, da -da -da -da. <laughs> I can see my house from here. And we're coming up again on one hour, an hour and a half. So I think that is 
pretty much all we have time for today now guys the, the, these are just really good um i'm really enjoying doing these live streams i think maybe some part of it is one we can't go fly let's be honest no one's flying at the moment and uh interpersonal uh, relationships are very low <laughs> so getting a chance to chat to you guys and blah 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 all that stuff that I said yesterday is really good so uh, I might try to do another one tomorrow uh, I might schedule it and uh, and have that going uh, <laughs> thanks a lot to everyone for coming yeah I think there's a lot of benefit not only from being able to talk to you guys but I can see that a lot of you guys are talking to each other as well, rather than just to me. So it's kind of like it's the local bar where uh, where we go to meet friends and have a chat and feel a bit less lonely and get excited about when we all can get out and fly or, you know, developing this game further, all of that good stuff. So you all know you're awesome. I don't need to say it again. Uh, as someone said yesterday, I always forget these things, but don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, donate on join on YouTube uh, become a patron subscribe ring the bell go and download the game have fun if you like it uh, consider sparing some of your dollars or euros or anything with Evan so that we can make this game even better and we can all play it uh, together in the future all the love goes for everyone and I'll see you very soon. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Be good.